your hard work is propelling our survey along, and I'd better match your effort. Yeah, get out there and match my effort, man. Come on. Giant crystal, steel collector, crystals, type steel. And by the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. Okay, I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Okay, cool. Uh, return to camp then. Are we making progress? Are we progressing? Is this that elusive thing known as progress? Look at how much time I have left. I've got like 15 minutes left ish, right? Just imagine plants thriving so deep underground. What wonders the world hides? Professor! Hey, Professor! What was the important thing you wanted to tell us? Ah, yes. Good news, everyone. <laughs> We've located an luminous uh, Pokemon on Duras Island. Fantastic. And that's right. We picked up that familiar reading coming from a large empty space deeper in the cave. Cool. <laughs> Which means we found our last Illumina Pokemon. You know, you know what to do, trusty photographer. That's me. Okay, let's go. Let's go do this. It's really the last one. All Jeez. Right. Jeez, okay. Whew. What's it gonna be, I wonder? Looks like your target is there. Okay. Yeah, put that barrier up. Is that a Steelix? It's a Steelix. How do I, what do I do? How do I get the Steelix? Be be okay, so rush up to it. I got a picture, kind of. Must be in one of those holes, right? Try throwing blood fruit in them. Try throwing apples in them, you mean? How am I scanning? Okay. Did I get a picture? Does that count as a picture? Um, I have to throw, like, Illumina thingies at it right, too, right? Dang it. Frickin' Steelix, goddammit. <laughs> Come back. Ah! What is that? A weird crystal. Yeah, thanks, man. I got it. Where's it at? Where is it? Ah, dang it. Yeah, thanks, man. Mac! Steelix, please! Steelix, please, my god. Yeah, there we go. Come on, please still be lit up when you come out. Yes! Cool! You gonna play a different game now? Jeez, this one's this one's nuts. Crystal Bloom, okay, sure. Where? Speed up a little. Where's the crystal bloom at? There, like right there. I don't know if this is actually going to do anything, but you know. There, I can see it now. And there's something. Do I have to get a fluff fruit in there? God, I called it a fluff fruit, didn't I? That's embarrassing. Come on. 
Ben. Light up. What's happening? Well, there it went. Before you return, could I trouble you to make a quick detour? Sure. You caught my attention while you were chasing after that Steelix. Okay. That broken wall. There appears to be a large open area. The scan says it's not a natural formation. It's human made. This. It's just this is mysterious and weird. Oh, I love this. I love this. Oh, I love this. This this comes like out of nowhere, and I love it. I can't say for sure, but I think it may be another ruin connected to the Illumina Pokemon. Oh, geez, that's a crystal bloom. That's like a symbol for a crystal bloom. And there's writing. Oh, this feels very end game. Holy shit! Cool. Look at that mural. Yeah, that's them. That's the Lumina Pokemon, right? The mural's very old, and it's missing some pieces here and there. But it must be depicting that ancient lentil legend. Let's see. It looks like it's roughly two thousand years old. Jeez, you startled me. <laughs> This is so cool. Fantastic. What a discovery. Does this show what the people saw back then? So, the Pokemon are protecting them from the meteorites? Hmm. The patterns on these Pokemon. Could they be Illumina Pokemon? Yeah, they're literally the Illumina Pokemon we've seen so far, man. Come on. Pokemon exist before the meteorite fell after all? And... Is there another Illumina Pokemon in the center? Yeah, that's what I was wondering, too. Professor? Oh, sorry. I got a bit lost in thought. I've got some good data for now. Let's sort it out once you're back. Yeah. Ugh. This is so freaking cool. Like, who would have expected this game to have so much story? But it has so much story. It's so good. Ugh. Yep, let's get our photos evaluated. Like you said. Just Steelix. Just like one picture of Steelix. And... Come on. <laughs> Bad picture of Steelix, too, frankly. Like, it's literally just, like, his tail and, like, one of his cheeks. It wasn't really. Uh, it was hard. Jeez. Come on. Give me my XPs. I'm level two in the Illumina spot already. Fantastic. Another step forward for our research. I bet the Pokemon in the area are getting uh, comfortable with you. Sure, man. Sure. Yeah. And by the way, that thing. That thing happened. Come back to camp. Even though you're technically already here. Yep, Neo One. Let's go. Come on. Load. I'm real hyped. Yeah, here we go. Look. Hey, go away. This is my game. We have one more area to explore before our survey comes to an end. Ready for the final frontier? Hmm. I'm not. That was a terrible movie. Star Trek V, bad movie. It's a joke, that's a joke. About how bad Star Trek V is. That mural has turned my whole theory on its head. And not only is there another Illumina Pokemon, but they've also been around since before the meteorite. Oh? Is it just me, Professor? Or is that excitement in your voice? It's not just you. And this wasn't what I expected, but it's a fascinating discovery. Awesome. Plus, I've gone over all our data, and it shows that energy from all over Lentil is converging in one spot. And in that same spot, we picked up a very faint reading from an Illumina Pokemon. <gasps> the central one from the mural. It seems like it. Uh -huh. So where is it? That. And that's the tricky part. And it, this points to a tiny island that doesn't even appear on the map. Mm -hmm. 
and there, most likely, is where we'll find uh, the island spoken of in the legends, Aris Island. And time for one final expedition. Let's find the truth once and for all. Fantastic. Let's do this. Let's do this. I have time for one run through this before this recording session ends. This might be it. This might be like the end of the main game. I don't know. That is not what I wanted to click on. Let's go to new place, please. Thank you. Ruins. So this is just straight up ancient ruins. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay. Down in some kind of valley or something. Okay. Oh, hey. Cool. This doesn't feel right, though. Okay. D different crystal blooms. Come on. Okay, it looks like an entrance. Okay, that'll give me Illumina Orbs for this location. Okay, big hole. Hello, Houndoom. Would you like an apple? Would you like a Houndoom apple? Such a good puppy. Another one. And... A Noivern, okay, sure. Oh, and Sigilus, cool. Anything over here? Hey! Let's land it! Have an apple. There's multiples of them. Holy crap. One of those can even evolve. This is neat. This is so neat. Hello, Sigilyph. It's a really cool Pokemon. That's a Pokemon that I've never used before. In fact... My, um, my character, AJ, um, she really likes this Pokemon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this now? Oh, hey, look at all these, like, ancient Pokemon. Scan some stuff. Come on. There we go. Numerous heart-shaped markings. Interesting. Heart stamps, maybe? Is there a... Um... Oh, what are they called? The little batty guys. This is like a machine of some kind. And there's all these weird, like, extraterrestrial-esque and, and, and ancient-esque Pokemon chilling around out here. Like, tending to it, almost. Like, look at him. Weird. Not who. That was your last photo. But let's press on. Oh god damn it. That was my last photo. So mad. Numerous deep gashes? From you, maybe? the hell is this? This is so weird. That's got to be what's drawing in the energy, right? Interesting. I'm circling this whole thing, and there's each of these. And it looks like each one... Like, each one's glowing a different color? And then there's a bunch of crystal blooms of different colors. The crystal blooms and the statues are arranged in the same position. Interesting. So, 
some sort of pedestal behind sleeping Gullerk. He's like sleeping, he's like standing guard. Weird. This is so fascinating. Maybe lighting up the crystal blooms will do something to the... the statues? There's like an indentation in that too. I'm gonna run us a little long today. Um, for this for this episode to run back through here with Illumina orbs and see what happens. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab all of these guys. These photos of these guys. All right. Yeah. Hound Doom. A good pupper. That two star good pupper. The Eldegosses. Yeah. Didn't really expect it to be any better than that. Okay. That was really my best one, but sure. A lot of one stars here, but that's fine, right? Sigilif. Slammed it. A new discovery. Nice work. Yeah. Not too. A new discovery. Just nice so work. many like really mysterious Pokemon. And then like Houndoom and Slammed it. Cause that thing's a freaking alien, right? Great timing. Uh, Behem or whatever however you pronounce that. That's that's a he's an alien, right? That's like the whole thing, right? <laughs> So, um, actually, I probably should stop here, save content for the next recording session. Um, so, apologies for getting your hopes up there. Um, I never have guessed it was your first trip out there. Keep up the good work. Um, I am going to probably end it here. I'm looking at my time, and I really should. But, yeah, that's, that's very interesting, and I have an idea of what to do. I think I need to try to light up all of those crystal blooms we saw there towards the end. And that'll unlock something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, let's go talk to the professor real quick and get our, I'm assuming, last Illumina Orb, and then we'll sign off for the day, I think. After this load screen. Come on, let's go. Another set of amazing ruins. That's right, and here's something intriguing about them. And they seem to include two distinct types of structures. What's different about them? If we compare the ruins at the entrance to what we saw deeper inside the cave, there's like actual story happening here. Let me see. Now, the cave part seems to have been built later and possibly in a hurry. Okay, how do you determine that? There was definitely something weird about that area. Why were flowers from the other islands in there? Because they'd been transplanted, I'm assuming. Now, we can take that as evidence that energy from all throughout Lentil is converging there. Well, I guess they, like, crew there because of the energy converging. Okay, that's interesting. If we can untangle these mysteries, I'm sure we'll find the way forward. In the meantime, I've finished work on another set of Illumina orbs. I'm sure they'll prove right. helpful. Now, we're getting close to our goal, and thanks to all the research uh, you three have been doing, not uh, not us three, just me. I'm the only one doing anything. Ugh, all right. That was fun. That was a fun recording session. Um, got a little grindy there for a little while, and man, I hate grinding. But um, overall, not not too terribly bad. I might actually do a whole episode um, figuring out some of these request thingies, too. We'll see. We'll see how many more episodes there are of this. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just kind of playing this with my ear.